Hey everybody, I'm Sean. And I'm Kieran. Uh, and you are not going to be seeing a regular episode of Angling Spiders today. We are out hiking on vacation and so this is our first ever episode of Adventuring Spiders. Welcome back everybody. Uh, we are currently between the ice fishing season and the regular open water season and so as we mentioned in a previous video we're probably going to bring you a couple of different kinds of videos. Now one of the things that we actually considered doing early on when we started Angling Spiders was having a second channel called Adventuring Spiders um, but because of COVID we haven't been going on very many adventures lately and so uh, we kind of scrapped that idea but Today we are out on vacation and we are in the town of Radium Hot Springs, British Columbia. And so we thought we would share some of the things that you can do around Radium, including some hikes, some of the tourist attractions, and uh, just the general area. So let's get to it. All right, everybody, this is the start of the, the uh, Juniper Creek Trail. And what we're gonna try to do is this Radium Hot Springs Trail, which is 3.6 kilometers, so. We just came down just over two kilometers, so see what we can do. All right, you guys, so we're just making our way down here, down the trail that heads down to the creek. The creek is right there, so we're almost to the bottom. You can see how icy these trails are. Um, lots of people have used this trail, really icy, so um, if you're gonna do some spring or fall hiking in these areas, you gotta have crampons. We all have, uh, crampons on our feet which is the same ones that we use when we're out ice fishing so gotta be uh, safety first okay so we've hit the bottom here of Sinclair Creek and now we got to make our way back up the valley and so it's the beginning of the hike up and it's basically all uphill for about the next uh, kilometer here so it's gonna be a bit of a hike Something for a break here. We're about uh, just to get up into the actual rock. We're on the sunny side of the valley, so there isn't as much ice here. It's actually a little bit more muddy, but ooh, there's definitely some elevation gain. Whew, let's keep going. Okay, we are at the top of the first section of the Sinclair Trail. Um, the first lookout over the highway into Radium. That is uh, Radium Hot Springs off in the distance. And if I come over here, you'll see the highway. There's the highway on the other side. And uh, we're still going that way, but our next destination is up there on the top of that peak. Uh, I can see the fenced uh, trail up there, so. We got a ways to go yet. Little update here. We're about uh, four, between four and four and a half kilometers into this hike. Uh, got up into some snow again here, but we're very close to cresting the second ridge. And uh, we'll be able to get a nice view from there where we look back on the ridge that we were just standing on before. So it's been a good hike. Everybody's in t-shirts, which is great for spring. And uh, we got about between a kilometer and a kilometer and a half to go. Hopefully you'll see the amazing view we have from up here. And uh, probably have to point it out with an arrow, but you can see the previous lookout on the previous peak just down below there, a long ways down below us. So, and we haven't even crested the top of the ridge on this one yet. We're just uh, getting near the top. So, ah, <sighs> looking good. All right, guys, we are uh, near the end of the trail here. You can see radium down below there, uh, the radium hot springs. So that's where this trail comes out. Um, after that last peak, it's pretty much all downhill. So you just gotta be a little bit careful here on the trails, but 
pretty good hike. It took us about two hours, so highly recommend this one if you're in the area. All right, you guys, so what is on the agenda for right now is this uh, place that's the same name as the town. Uh, this is Radium Hot Springs, and it's a hot spring. So we're gonna go check it out. And uh, this area houses the pools. There's both a hot pool and a cold pool. All right, so this is the, uh, what they call the cold pool side of Radium Hot Springs. I do not know what the temperature of the cold pool is, but we'll find, try to find that out. Radium is open year round because of the hot spring water. You can already feel the steam coming off the, the pool. All right, and this is the hot spring side. Again, we'll find out what the actual temperature is, but um, kept a standard temperature year round, so. And definitely some steam coming off this one. All right, you guys, we're the first ones here. And you got a nice little, oops, pull. <laughs> nice little tent here to keep you sheltered from, uh, cold air and there you go looking fantastic yeah we are the only ones here right now we are the first ones in and uh, that's pretty cool that's what we wanted to do so that we could get some filming done before other people were in here so there's Kieran <laughs> there's the little entrance we came through so we were just told that uh, we were headed towards the cooler side of the hot pool and that the hottest water is on the other side over here. So we're gonna go to the hot water. Oh, it is definitely warmer over here. <laughs> yes, it is definitely a lot warmer on this side. All right, so we found the nice uh, warm area here and uh, thought I'd also take a shot of the surrounding area. So in addition to being a very nice hot spring, the scenery here is pretty fantastic as well. All right, check this out, you guys. I know for some of you, this is a pretty regular sight, but for us in Canada, wild turkeys are not very common. This is pretty cool. Especially ones that are this uh, tame. <laughs> Clearly used to being around people. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna let these guys go. But that is very, very cool. And they are not afraid of me at all. Very cool. All right, everybody, another hike. This time we drove south of Radium to uh, the town of Invermere and uh, just outside of town here is another hike. This one is uh, a wetland hike called the Wil Wilmer Wetlands. Um, not as much elevation gain here. This isn't really a mountain hike, but uh, gets you down closer to uh, some of this uh, lake at the bottom here that's currently frozen. So we're gonna go check it out. All right, so here's a pretty good view of the wetlands. Um, we're standing on some sand dunes here. Not a lot of birds here right at the moment because it's really early spring. It's actually March 22nd, so um, there's a few birds down there. In fact, uh, one of them is a bald eagle. It was flying over us there a couple times, and there's a few other birds down there, but definitely can see how this would be a pretty uh, fantastic spot to do some hiking in the summer. Um, lots to see. Are you the king of the world? 
<laughs> Some interesting terrain features in here. All right, everybody. So I'm admittedly not much of an outdoorsman uh, other than hiking, but uh, just looking at this area, this looks like some perfect country for hunting. Uh, moose, elk, deer, there's also uh, bighorn sheep. Just look at this area out here. Some prime moose habitat down there. We got some areas for deer and other things, elk. So pretty amazing countryside. All right, getting close to the end of this one. Definitely a much easier hike than what we did the other day. Uh, and if you another beautiful day out here, I would say it's uh, probably 10 to 12 degrees. And uh, we're headed up to the parking lot where we left the vehicle. So another fantastic hike out here in the area of Radium. And, uh, Let's get to the end. All right, you guys, so one of the things that we also do when we're out hiking is we look for geocaches. If you guys don't know what geocaching is, um, people from around the world hide things and you use an app like geocaching.com to find the location of those hidden items and then when you're out hiking, you go looking for them. Sometimes they're easy, sometimes they're hard. All you get is a coordinate and we just found our first geocache on this hike <laughs> this oh, no. one in the case of an ammo crate so we're going to open it up and show you guys what's in this geocache i don't think this one's been opened in a while oh there we go a notebook and we got some miscellaneous toys for kids <laughs> all right well we're gonna Sign the log book, which is pretty common in every geocache for all the people who ever find them. We're going to put the log book back in there. So there we go. We've got our first uh, geocache as adventuring spiders. All right, everybody, we're back to the trailhead here. And that's going to close it out for this episode of adventuring spiders. Um, last we checked, we were sitting at about 1,495 subscribers. So as we said, when we hit 1500, we're gonna plan that live stream and do a giveaway. So you can look forward to that hopefully soon. And uh, we'll look forward to you joining us on our next episode. All right, everybody. So I'm gonna close that one out here uh, as we always do by saying thank you very much. And if you liked the video, smash that like button, hit subscribe. And I hope you guys all have some great adventures. <laughs> You've reached the end of the video, Grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs>